Hey there, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Nose Rides and Nose Dives. My name's Adam, and this is The Morning Grind. Today's episode is part two of the pop-up. But before we get started, I want you to grab yourself one of these so that you can enjoy the ride. All right, so we gotta admit, surfing is one of the coolest sports that exist. And when you're talking about cool, I mean, what is the coolest thing in, about being cool is is having an attitude and 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 sh- not showing your face, you know, and and just pretending that you're 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 gifted or you're good or something. So, you know, when it comes to the topic of an improvement or developing your skills or actually applying some sort of an effort, it's almost like a touchy feely subject where you know the diehard surfers that have been surfing for the majority of their lives. If you ask them about that, or they they just don't talk about it. It's almost like they they just come up with a grumpy answer surfers surf yeah <laughs> so you know it's it's not really um a subject that people talk about improvement and for me it's it's like i'm an educator i i, uh, I coach uh, another sport and uh so my whole mindset is about growth and trying to learn and develop skills and for me surfing is a new sport so i'm very intrigued and and turned on by the by the, the process of, of developing and improving my skills as a surfer and hopefully sharing and inspiring you to uh, to become a better surfer as well in the process. But the funny thing about learning is, is that nobody talks about any kind of, uh, you know, practice or anything like that. And the whole the whole uh, scenario about, you know, the pyramid or the, the, um, oh, the iceberg, let's use the iceberg as an analogy. The old iceberg there, where you only see the 10%, the top of the iceberg floating on the surface of the ocean and you don't actually see the 90% which is hidden under the surface and well the analogy is that the you know if you want to be good at something all you all you want to show is the actual 10% you don't want to show your 90% of effort and hard work and um, you know failures and stuff like that it's all about just showing your face showing your skills as really being good you're almost like a show off right you just want to show what you're good at you don't want to show what you're bad at. You don't want to show about practicing and trying to improve. So, uh, you know, we try to almost as surfers because it's such a cool sport and cool is about keeping an attitude and not showing your vulnerability. You know, it's almost like you, you don't want to show or share the amount of effort you've applied to becoming good at something. So anyways, this episode here is about uh, learning. Uh, well, for me, popping up, improving my technique of pop up. This is part two. Last week's edition, I was uh, trying to nerd and geek out a little bit with different techniques of popping up. This week, I think I cracked the code. So uh, let's go give it a try. We'll see you in the water. Phew! All right, so last week we really opened a can of worms on my pop-up and uh, we found out there's a lot of compensations. And this week, hopefully with a little bit of practice and some time, Uh, We'll be able to close that can of worms again and uh, make a really solid movement so that I have a consistent pop-up that will uh, lead to improvement down the road for my surfing. So what is it that is so drastically wrong with my pop-up? Well, what happens is when I pop up, my lead foot faces forward. And the reason I do this is actually to compensate for keeping my body more centered over the board to keep me in balance. Because if I don't point my foot forward, I get something called surfer's butt or poopy butt, which means that my backside is off the back end of the board, creating a really poor balance and posture to pop up on. Now, the reason I do this is because my upper spine has a limitation that it can't stay upright and in extension as I'm popping up. Although luckily, I've discovered now that this is only a motor pattern problem and it can be relearned. So luckily I've devised two fantastic exercises to help me relearn this motor pattern. And the first one here is as I'm demonstrating in this video, goblet squats, where I have a light weight in front of my chest and I have to go down into a squat position. Now this forces me to keep my upper body and my spine in extension. So my head is high as I pop up, which creates space for my lower body to swing in under and slide into position. The second exercise I have is 
reversing the pop-up. So going from a standing position on the board and slowly controlled back down onto the board and then popping up explosively. So trying to reverse the movement in control, muscle control. And this is an exercise given to me by a great friend who's both a physiotherapist and a surf coach. And it, to be honest, it's fantastic. Very challenging, but incredibly effective. But we'll have to wait and see because now it's just about our practice and spending the time in the trenches. And there's one thing about improvement that is never really shown uh, to, the, to the human eye. And uh, if we don't see it, we don't believe it. But the fact is, practice and improvement is messy. It's never easy. It's never as easy as we're meant to believe it is. But with the proper exercises, I think that I'm on the right path. As you can see here, this is from last week's vlog where I was working on popping up. Just notice how high my backside is as opposed to my head. I'm totally lacking the extension of my upper body. My head cannot stay up. But with already with this small little bit of effort that we've applied here during the week here and uh, working on the correct technique, here you can see I'm able to keep my upper body, my head slightly higher uh, in extension, yeah, it goes down a little bit and my backside gets a little bit high. But let's compare it to the GOAT. We have to compare it to Kelly Slater and see how I'm improving and see how my technique is to him. Here's the GOAT, greatest of all times, Kelly Slater. Look at his head, his upper body, his spine stays higher than his backside throughout his whole pop-up as he sweeps his legs in under his upper body into balance. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, then please do yourself a favor and check out this one next. Otherwise, uh, if you guys, uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any comments or any suggestions, then please be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you next week. Phew!